Hi everyone! Welcome back to Mojo's Money! My name is Lacey and today I have a very exciting video because it's my second cash stuffing of the month of June 2023 and the exciting part is I've got a lot of money over here. <laughs> I have, let's see, check my spreadsheet, $378 to stuff today, 170 of which will be going to my emergency fund 80 envelope challenge and the rest are going in these binders in my high priority and my medium priority. If you are new here, hi! On Mojo's Money, we talk about cash stuffing, budgeting, sinking funds, paying down my mortgage, and savings challenges. So if you like that kind of content, stay tuned. So what we're going to do first before we do anything is I like to make a spreadsheet. If you've been here many times before, I have shown this. <laughs> If it looks bigger today, it's because I did not cut the top and the bottom off because I was in a hurry to get this out and done. So let's see if I can get it in frame and zoom in. So what I've got over here, on the left are the names of the sinking funds that I'm stuffing. This will be my end, uh, the, these numbers are my end goal. This is what I stuffed last time and this is what I'm stuffing today. So it's a fairly similar. The notable difference is this new car got a little more and remodel got a little bit more. Electronics is getting less because that's the number. This three was the next on that savings challenge. Clothing is getting a little more and tires are getting a little more because that was the next on their savings challenge. Over here in this last little number of four are the envelopes for my 80 envelope challenge that I'm stuffing. You'll notice I have a really big one today, a 79. So that's super exciting. And then I round up to these numbers. In the middle here is my cash breakdown that I write down on a separate piece of paper and get take to the bank whenever I do that. And then here at the bottom, so if you'll notice here, I've got, I still haven't taken Mojo to the vet, so veterinary is still fully funded. And then I have not gone down on my emergency fund, yay, in the past two weeks because I wanted to tell you guys, I did get my headlights restored. If you saw my last video, I showed before and after photos for my headlights and they look amazing. So I just got them restored. I did not have to get new ones and they only cost me $125. I had $100 from my tire fund. If you'll notice, that's why it went down. And uh, well, actually, so I took 60 out of here and we're adding nine. So there's eight plus nine is 17. And then I also took 40 from my maintenance fund for my low priority envelopes. So I, that was $100. And I just took 25 from my miscellaneous fund and cash flowed that. So I did not need any emergency fund. Yay! So I'm going to take that off next time. But I just made that little note to tell you guys that I did not have to buy new headlights. Yay! So yeah, let's see. Anything else unexpected? No, all of these are just going to be the new totals. Um, I just do it electronically and then I do it again when I add it up and add the cash so that... It is very clear what I have and what I should have. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with our high priority binder, my lovely little purple rainbow that I got from a giveaway from Ange Budget and Debt. Alrighty, let's see. We're starting with new car. <laughs> I don't know that I'm fully awake yet. You know what, I should have brought my coffee in here to do this. I didn't even think about that. New car's getting $11 today. 10, 11. We're going to need a pen and my sort quick. I put my lovely little rings from Timu on today for y'all so it would be a little bit more fun and pretty and shiny. <laughs> there we go. Fingertips are moistened, and today, what is today? Today is the 17th Saturday. I may not get this video actually posted till tomorrow, but at the very least, I am filming it today. Okay, so let's count it up. We have 500, 600, 700, 800 in the bank. 8, 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 858 dollars. That's exciting. We we're definitely getting this up there. The 800 is in a high, we can't color this until we get like 1300 plus. 
Um, we are, what was I saying? Oh, I put the 800 into a high yield savings account. It's doing very well. I think I already talked about this on the first cash stuffing, but this month it made $3 in interest, so yay. Now let's move along to the Orlando Trip Fund, which is getting 10, and we have the Nigel's Nuts Savings Challenge for this. So every $10, Nigel gets one more nut. So let's give this its $10. We'll record it. And count it up. So we have 500, 600 in the bank, 6, 10, 20, 21, $621. And then a nut for Nigel. We're getting, we're, we're halfway done with the challenge, y'all. Yay! He's gonna have his whole stockpile ready. The Orlando trip's not taking place till next year because this year we're going on a cruise. And if you saw my last video, my cruise fund is looking good. It's doing a little better than the <laughs> Orlando trip fund. I've been saving up for it way longer, but it just goes to show how if you get aggressive on a fund, it's going to fill up faster. So the certification exam fund is going to be getting its usual $25. I have only two more classes until I can get on a different certification until I can start on this, uh, on, a, on a renewal. So I'm so excited to be able to start studying for this. All right, 20 and 5. Alrighty, let's see what we got now. We have 100, 200 in the bank, 250. Yes, 250, 270, 290, 300, 305, 310. Awesome, 310, $310. And we need to color in Sunny Sunday. This is the um, savings challenge from Jordan Budgets that I laminated so I can reuse it for many different things, but right now it's for a certification exam fund. And so $17, 310 divided by each sun is $17. That means we need to have 18 suns colored. There is 10 in a row, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to color two more in this row. Yay! All right, only 12 to go. And I can condense that and put another 100 prop holder when I do my bill condensing at the end of the month. Now moving along to Remodel, which is actually getting $10 today. That's the most it's gotten in a, in a little while. Okay, so that means, let me go ahead and write that. Add in 10. We have 500. Let's fiesta. <laughs> 600, 700, 800, 900 in the bank. Then we have 9, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72. 972, and when it gets up to 1,050, we can start coloring again. I had to use some of this, so it's not um, a colorable right now. I guess I could erase and recolor again, but I don't want to. Christmas! The Christmas fund always gets some of the most love. It's getting $75. 50, 70, and 5. Because I like to go all out at Christmas time. Alright, let's count it up now. Now we have 500, 600, 700 in the bank. 750, 800, 850, 870, 890. Wow, 9, 10, 9, 15, 20, 25. 925, wow. We're getting so close to being able to use a $1,000 prop slip. That's exciting. So we need to color in 
Let's trade this out for a green marker. We need to color in some Christmas trees, so I'm gonna count these up. I might cut this out. Okay, there's 22 colored right now. Each one is $38, so let's divide $925 by 38. There should be 24 colored. I'm gonna put 14 over here so that I know there's 14. Okay, so we can color two more to make a total of 24. Yay, 24, okay. Yeah, we are on the downhill slope of the Christmas fund. That's exciting. And it's not even July. Now, the ever exciting mortgage fund. And when I do my bill exchange, I will take this money out and take it to the bank because we're at the end of quarter two for 2023. Wow, halfway through the year when we get to the end of this month, you guys. The mortgage fund, this is extra principal prepayment on my mortgage because I'm trying to pay this booger off early. And I, I'm going to be sending $35 to this from this paycheck. Man, my bills were looking sad. All right, so let's write that in. If my voice sounds weird today, I'm so sorry. My um, allergies are crazy because I went out running this morning without taking any allergy medicine. So in this fund, after adding that, we have 50, 100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 2, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 245, yay! So all of that will be going to the mortgage company, an extra $245 principal payment. That's pretty good. I do that every quarter. Veterinary, we're not gonna worry about this yet because I need to go take Mojo to get his shots and that should be about $50 and I'll take a 50 out of there then. The cruise fund, yay! Um, we don't actually have anything to put in there today because I already did my mini bumblebee challenge for the week and I did put in a little bit of money. I think it was $26 there, so fun. And then this is for taxes um, for when we do a candy and baked goods sale and we don't have one until July 1st, so we don't have to worry about that. And this is just completed challenges. So this binder is done, yay! And we can move along to the next binder. It's getting a little full. I'm glad we're gonna do a bill condensing soon. Now our medium priority binder with my cute little sloth. Investments getting five. This is just for any investment property that we decide to do or investments we decide to make in the future. It's currently in a high yield savings account along with the car fund. And I've just been adding a little money here and there. So let's trade this out for a black marker. And we're gonna count it up. We have 100, 200 in the bank, 250, 70, 75, 80. $280 in this fund right now. When I get 300, I will put that 100 in this high yield savings account. Maybe next month I will. We'll see if I can add 20 next month. Urgh. Oh, that lid did not want to come off, you guys. So furniture, home security, and washer dryer are each only getting $1. That's just because they're not my highest priority, but if I ever do need some of this, I will not have to make up as much difference if that makes sense. So now we are at 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 dollars in the furniture fund. And if I did think, oh, I'm gonna be needing furniture soon, I would start stuffing this more aggressively. So home security, getting $1. Which brings us up to 50, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74 in this one. My marker seems to be rubbing off on some of these. 
Maybe I'm not making sure that they're dry enough. Now washer dryer is getting a dollar. So now we are up to 100, 105, 6, 7, 107 dollars for the washer dryer, which I'm not in need of one right now, thank goodness. Once we get to $134, we can color in one of these on this fun little Jordan Budget Savings Challenge. Okay, so electronics, I'm using this Jesse C. Envelopes Challenge, and the next one was $3, so that's what we're putting in electronics today. And so on this, we are up to, wait a second, did I add three? No, I did not. I only added one. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's too early to be distracted, you guys. So now we are up to 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 dollars in the electronics fund. Let's see. We've been coloring this pink, and the next one is seven. So these are my no bleed highlighters. I've been considering getting some like roll up crayons or something to try for challenges. That's in my brain. I don't know. Has it have any of you ever tried crayons for challenges? And do they work? Do they look good? Tell me below. Okay, so let me put down seven on my spreadsheet so that we will know next time we need seven. Put this in here. Eventually when we finish this challenge, we'll have $500. I will put Jesse C. Envelope's channel down in the description box below. Now the RV fund. So the RV fund and the electric bikes fund are both only getting $1 just because they are also low priority. Electronics is one that we seem to need like a lot. So that's why I put that one a little higher. Oh, my one is all folded. There we go. So that means we are up to 20, 40, 50, 51, 52 dollars in the RV fund. We don't have an RV. We're saving up to maybe eventually get um, like a travel trailer pull behind small trailer for trips. Eventually, like not soon. First, I've got to get a vehicle that would pull one. So <laughs> that's why new car is in the high priority envelope um, binder. Electric bikes. Do any of you commute to work on a bike? Tell me tell me down in the description box below if you do because I've wanted to try it but I've always been a little bit nervous because my commute is like a little bit dangerous as far as like the traffic but the mileage like in my car it only takes me maybe six minutes to get there so I'm like man I could totally do that on an electric bike and save like so much gas money but I don't want to get hit by a car so if you have any tips and tricks for that tell me below or tell me where I can find info on that anyways okay so then whoop, on this we have 20 40 50 51 52 Maybe a moped would be a better way to go. Because <laughs> you can go the same speed as cars. But if the weather's bad, none of those options are good. Clothing! The clothing fund is getting $20. And I've been using this uh, Jordan Budget's freebie challenge back here for this. I got like a whole pack is why I use a lot of her challenges. So 
So this brings us to 100 and 200 are in the bank. Then to 20, 30, 35, 36, 37 is what we're at. Now right now, $237. So next is 40 and that's a lot. So <laughs> I hope we can do that. Oh no, I broke one of my rings already, y'all. Let's color in this 20. But I will go ahead and put 40 on here. So hopefully I can try to get that next time. We do need new clothes, especially um, coming up on the cruise. So I would like to get this as stuffed as possible. I don't have a bathing suit that like currently fits me. <laughs> and I don't have a swimsuit cover up. My husband doesn't have a swimsuit at all. And we will be needing those things. Okay, there's that. And then the Bigfoot challenge, which is for my tires fund. Which last time we had scratched a nine, so we're adding nine today to this challenge, and then we will scratch off for next time. So it only has eight dollars currently, so five, this should be four, six, seven, eight, nine, yes. So let's see where we're at after all that. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, yay! 17 dollars now in the tires fund. This is a reinventing Renee scratch off Bigfoot that I won in a giveaway for Manage Budget and Debt and Pink Cash Budgeting when they did their giveaway. And I have really enjoyed it and it's really helped me get this car situation taken care of as far as like my headlights and start saving for my tires. Okay, so let us go ahead and I'm gonna just close this for right now. So we have room to scratch. Get my trusty scratching quarter. And one, two, three, four, five. I need my five-sided die, which I have a lot of them, or a lot of different kinds of die. So I definitely have a five-sided in here somewhere. There's my five. Okay, put all these back in there. So here we go, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, and five. Which one are we gonna roll to scratch off next time? If we find Bigfoot, he's worth $20. Oh my gosh. Five, so this one. Oh, it's not Bigfoot, dang it. Uh, he's gonna be like the last one that we find, isn't he? On my last one, I had asked you guys if y'all like to scratch the whole thing or just scratch some of it. And the answers were mixed. Like, there was not a majority consensus there. All right, $3 is going in the tires fund next time. I'm going to write that on my spreadsheet. So I, oop, not with the marker. So I don't forget. It's going in there next time. And let's tuck this back in there. Everyone say hi to Larry in the back from Alicia Hanson Bands. And we will continue our search for Bigfoot and when we do our first cash stuffing of July. All right, everyone. We still have money over here, if you'll notice. And that is for my 80 envelope challenge. So please stay tuned for that. And then my next video after that should be my week three cruise fund mini bumblebee challenge stuffing. And yeah, that's, that's all she wrote, folks. Thank you all so, so much for joining me today. I wanted to say there is exciting news on YouTube about people with 500 subscribers being able to monetize in a certain way, but only with like super chat and super thanks. And when I get to my, the 3000 watch hours, I'm currently at 2600. So I'm pretty close and I have 545 subscribers at the time of making this. Yay. Thank you all so much. I can't even imagine 500 people like I imagine movie theater people watching me <laughs> stuff money in my envelope. And that just is like mind boggling to me. But thank you so much, all you who do um, watch my videos. You are so extremely appreciated from the bottom of my heart. Everyone, please don't forget to like the video, comment if you had an answer to the questions of the day that I asked in the video, and have a great day. Bye!